In this video, we'll demonstrate how to edit a Wi-Fi network configuration in the Ruckus One network management platform. Please note that this is a how-to video and not a why-to video, meaning it's not intended to provide deep dive information on every setting. Visit the RuckusNetworks.com website to find training curricula as well as access to Ruckus Technical Family content which also includes best practices and deployment guides. As you may recall, when you initially add a network to Ruckus One, you have to give it a name, configure or allow defaults for various settings and activate it on a venue. But you may find that you need to modify some settings to improve security, improve user experience or even limit access. Ruckus One makes it easy to access and reconfigure settings on a specific Wi-Fi network. Your list of networks is only one click away, accessible via the UI main menu by hovering over Wi-Fi and clicking on the Wi-Fi networks list. Note that clicking the tick box for a network reveals edit, clone, and delete functions. The clone function creates an identical copy of the selected network in all its settings appending hyphen copy to the network name and putting you in configuration mode to modify as necessary. One scenario for this is when you need multiple PSK networks, each having nothing more than a different password. The delete action requires a confirmation, so don't worry, it cannot be performed by a single errant click. The edit function takes you directly to the edit network page. If your task is straightforward and you need no additional information, then the tick box edit process is the most efficient. Now, alternatively, you can click directly on the network name, which takes you to the networks page where you'll find the configure button that will also take you to the edit network page. By going through the networks page, you do get the added benefit of being able to view the network's data and metrics, which are useful if you need extra information to help you determine what the new configuration settings should be such as seeing which APs or venues the network has already been activated on. Once in configuration or edit mode, the same process of clicking through the wizard screens applies to all network types. This should look familiar as it is the same set of screens that you step through when initially adding the network. You can change anything you desire, but remember the fields with an asterisk are required. And again, you'll click the next button at the bottom of the screen to step through each screen of the wizard. Let's say we want to change the passphrase. We'll leave security protocol at the recommended setting and we want to make management frame protection optional to take advantage of 802.11w network security protocols while still allowing legacy devices that don't support the 802.11w standard to access the network. And now that we're done on this page, we'll click Next. Here on the More Settings screen, again, we can change anything that we want, but we're going to leave these settings as is for now. So we'll click Next. On the Venues screen, let's change the radio setting from both radios to 2.4 gigahertz only. And change scheduling from 24-7 to a custom schedule. Let's change it from 6.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Now remember, this is local time for the venue where the network is activated. And we'll click Apply. And now we'll click the Finish button to save and apply the changes to the network. And that's it. That brings us to the end of this video on modifying a network configuration in the Ruckus One network management platform.